tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city. And she ain't foreign and she boring. Love the way you twerk it, shawty. Throwing money on her own, I call it independent, shawty. What's up everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit and we are here on Fortune Island. First, we're just jumping right into it. Oh, not good. We're just jumping right into it and uh, seeing how this is going. This is definitely a uh, off-road course for sure. The lightning is sick. I thought I was gonna fall off the mountain there. Excuse me, coming through. <laughs> that looks sick. So, first impression of this game update. This is visually stunning. The lightning, the weather. It's de okay. <laughs> oh, I can't go that way. Get wrecked. Why did I turn into that? That lightning was way too close. Why did I think I could break through that? All right, well, I'll get wrecked on myself right there. So, this is definitely uh, not handling as well as I'd hope it would. It's kind of uh, slipping all over the place. Oh my. Uh, all right. Definitely a shortcut. So I'll be excited once we get out of this little prologue thing and we can uh, rip some of the mountain roads for sure, but we're almost done with this. We're just jumping right into this game and this update and seeing what it's all about. Music in the background though. It's kind of kind of cool. Got some uh, Euro, kind of like a Euro beats going on right now. Sorry for the detour. How are we all doing? These guys are just all chit chat in this beginning. Roar Borealis going on right there. That's a visually stunning and visually appealing. This is going to be fun. So, that beginning was pretty loud, so I'm not even sure if you guys could have heard me, but we are here on hey, Fortune Andrew. Island. Welcome to Fortune Island. This is the Island Conqueror, a brand new tournament drift zone. set up to find the fastest, I see it. bravest driver here on the this island. This is going to happen. Make your First drift. Make qualifying rounds and race for the chance to be crowned the Island Conqueror. Now, so, somewhere on Fortune Island, right. the Horizon Festival has hidden a chest containing one million unmarked, non-consecutive credits. To trace its location, first you'll need to solve this riddle. Oh boy. Listen closely. The massive truck stomps around like a T-Rex. Roar through the speed zone at Festival's apex. I mean... Okay. So we're gonna... We're gonna quickly run this before we switch up cars and hit some of the drift spots so should be simple as that solve a riddle transmitting approximate coordinates and photographic reference match them up for the exact location well we couldn't make it too easy for you could we so now we gotta go see that so i kind of nice know work. where this is i think so it looks like it's all on the dock so we're gonna have to go find that is in this big area but we're gonna have to find the treasure box Wherever it is. 
because it looked like it was close to this area. There it is. We got it. A million credits. Meet our first Fortune Island millionaire. Wow. How do you feel? A million dollars for well, the treasure hunt? You retire to a Caribbean island. And there's plenty of more to do? Well. Yeah, I definitely will stick around, but now it's time to switch up cars and get to those two gay roads. So, if you guys haven't got the gist, we are here on Fortune Island update. We are going to be hitting up the toge runs here or the switchbacks, bringing out the Mustang, one of my favorite drift cars. So far, we got everybody down here and everybody up there. So we are going to make our way to probably the longest drift zone I have ever seen. And, uh, well, we're going to get the first drifts out of the way. Sounds like the Ram Rebel TRX, doesn't it? Ha! Anyway, happy hunting. Ram Rebel TRX. So they're trying to give us, uh, obviously they're giving us clues for these, uh, Turn around when it is safe to do so. little, uh, you know, treasure boxes. And, uh, I thought this man may have found it. We are gonna find that in a few. But first, we gotta get the slides on. And, uh, of course, the uh, most anticipated roads I have ever seen in a Forza game. So, we are going to go up here and just rip this through. The feeling of the wheel is uh, definitely not what I'm used to because I've been on Forza 7 a lot. So, I'm uh, going to have to get you step. We are definitely going to rip this uh, mountain drift zone, get the first drifts out of the way here in our Mustang. And uh well here it goes. You have arrived at your destination. We're gonna go full send. Oh man, that was too much of a full send. So we kinda too much full sent that. So we're gonna try and uh regain our composure here. All these roads look amazing. I tried to stay away from uh watching all the the little uh, streamcast release videos and stuff like that because I kind of wanted to do this myself. Do you know the tandems that are going to be had on this road? Oh, I mean, not if you do that, though. So we're definitely going to have to rip this downwards, too. So it's 200,000, I think, for, uh, for three stars in this drift zone. But this drift zone is so long. I don't think the rain is helping in my grip endeavor that I'm trying to get to. So we're going to try and uh, bring this back down. I feel like my wheel is spinning way more than I want it to be right now. And I think that is because, like I said, I'm used to Forza 7 right now. And Horizon 4 has way more self-steer right now. But we are going to send this as much as we can. These roads are a lot of fun. I am going to have so much fun on these roads. In a bunch of different cars. Pull that down a little bit. A little garter run. A guard wheel run. So we did get enough for three stars, it looks like. I think it was 200,000 for three stars. And we've already beaten that. I can see these drift zone scores being really high. I thought I was going to go off. You know, we're going to rip this back downwards because I was not too happy with this run. There we go. Go. You have arrived at your destination. 256. These scores are going to be massive in this zone. And there's more roads. Like, this road just continues to go. Oh my gosh. These roads, though. Let's just continue to drive these roads for a minute because these roads just keep going. Nice little. Like high speed sections. Oh my gosh. Guys, I think we have like the pinnacle of all drifting roads. Because it's all pavement too. 
So we're gonna rip it back down that drift zone. So my first impressions on this, it looks amazing. They've done amazing work with the scenery and these roads, hands down, the best roads in a Forza game so far from a drifter's point of view. Little mountain tailgate runs and uh, I can see a lot of tandems being had and uh, so, so many doors. So definitely gonna be uh, excited to get on with some of my friends and uh, well, shred these roads. So we're gonna try this drift zone again. And then this way we're gonna go downwards. Maybe we'll have a little bit better of a run going down. There we go. I just love how the roads are all pavement here. That's what we've been waiting for is some really good driftable pavement roads. And all, all the good roads I feel that were in Forza Horizon 4, the real map, were all dirt. And now we have some of the best mountain roads I think ever in a, an actual Forza game or a Horizon game, bar none. I'm not doing these roads justice right now. I'm gonna have to uh, rework a tune because I feel like my uh, my driving style is a little different now. And I've changed tactics a little bit, but this Mustang is not doing everything I want it to right now. But it's definitely getting it. Oh my gosh. I know I keep saying it, but these roads. All right, that section was nice. God. Yep. So these roads are insane. This map is insane right now. And yeah, look at that. People already over 300,000. I am way down in the rankings. But first impressions, first drift, first toge runs. Not bad. I feel like I need to adjust my car's tune for uh, this uh, environment right now. Oh, just tap. And uh, getting our feet wet here in Fortune Island. You know, there's gonna be a lot of Fortune Island stuff coming your way. More drifting, probably some tandems with some friends. Hopefully I don't do that. So we are definitely going to be uh, kicking the Fortune Island kick and uh, having fun with it. For sure, there's a lot of roads to discover, a lot of drifting to be done, and a lot of racing to be done as well. And uh, Forza has definitely, I think, outdone themselves with this map. These roads are definitely amazing, and there's going to be so much fun on this expansion. So if you guys have the expansion and you guys want to grab some doors, let me know down in the comments because I feel like uh, I feel like there needs to be some uh, some open lobby sessions in Forza Horizon 4 on this update, on the mountain roads, doing some uh, doing some tow gaze up and down, having a blast and just having some, you know, tandem drift sessions. I'm right now just driving and uh, discovering roads. And there's even more driftable roads. Other than that little up tow gaze section, there's roads out here too that we need to uh, discover and slide because uh, they're here and they're ready to be drifted on this update. And we are going to probably shred every single road. Road closed. Find on the way home, Pizza Boy. Why is it closed? Probably because it was water? There's some interesting things that I'm seeing. I have not found much dirt. Uh, as I say that, we head ourselves into dirt. So, you guys know follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll have you in the description box below. As always, like, thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and these roads are very muddy, and I'm out.